Hi, my name is Cold Beer, and I have an incredible Steam Games Humble Bundle for you. It has three versions. 12 games for 14 euros, 10 games for 10 euros, or 5 games for about 5 euros. In my opinion, 10 games for 10 euros pack is the best. You will see why just in a few minutes. And now let's explore the games one by one. Batman Arkham Origins Although it was the third Arkham game, it is the first one story-wise. Taking place before the rise of Gotham City's most dangerous criminals, the game showcases a young and unrefined Batman. He faces a defining moment in his early career as a crime fighter that sets his path to becoming the Dark Knight. The game features a pivotal tale set on Christmas Eve, where Batman is hunted by eight of the deadliest assassins from the DC Comics universe. You will become a rookie Batman as he encounters for the first time many of the characters that shape his future. He will find a case file system that allows you to analyze seemingly impossible to solve crime reconstructions in real time. Combining Batman's sensors with a bat computer, you can digitally recreate crimes and study detailed simulation of the act as it happened. So it can sound weird, but this is a detective game. But you are not only an investigator, oh no, you are the justice itself. Injustice 2 Legendary Edition so, this is basically the same as Mortal Kombat, just with different characters and no gore. You can't pull out the backbone through the mouth of your adversary, and if you want to do that, you are looking at the wrong game. So you can actually play this one with your 5-year-old niece and be embarrassed when she tears another asshole in your body with her awesome fighting skills. Nah, I'm kidding, kids are not good at games. And because it's forbidden to beat them in real life, you can at least do that in this game. Don't hold back, show them who's the boss. So in this version, you will get 10 additional characters including teenage mutant ninja snakes or lizards, can't remember. Anyway, here you can become Batman as well and beat everyone on easy difficulty. You got this. Gotham Knights this is an open-world action RPG set in dynamic and interactive Gotham City. You will patrol Gotham's five distinct districts in solo or in co-op with your friend and drop in on criminal activity wherever you find it. People on Steam are saying that the game is not as good as other modern Batman games, but that is a vague statement. There is some strange rivalry between fans, some love the game, some hate it. Main problems are that it lacks optimization, for example, I do not recommend obtaining it for your Steam Deck, and also it forces you to install Epic on online services with no option to opt out. The review score is kinda low, around 70%, but it's not extremely low, so I don't know. Basically now the game costs around 2.5 euro if you decide to take it with a full bundle along with Back for Blood. That may look like a good deal. Or not, anyway, it's up to you. Back for Blood the game tried to become a spiritual success of all Left 4 Dead, but something went wrong and it flopped. Fun fact is that nobody cared about the review score, which was mixed and still is, and people bought the game anyway. In a way, it is a commercial success. I say that because it has around 40,000 reviews on Steam, and other games with the same destiny of flopping barely accumulate 5,000. For example, Forspoken only has 4,000 by now, so in a way, Back for Blood is flop proof, but now it is abandoned by developers as well. Let's Last update was around a year ago, so if you run into problems or something feels not right, this is it. The thing stays here forever. You can only get Back for Blood with a full 12 game bundle. That includes this game and Gotham Knights. This way the price of Back for Blood is around 2.5 euro. Not a pile of gold, but don't be greedy, ask yourself, will you actually play these games? If yes, I agree that the price is nice even with the current review score. If not, it's just two additional names in your backlog. Mortal Kombat XL this is a casual Mortal Kombat X version with two DLCs in one. While not on sale, this whole deal would cost you around 50 euros, so getting it now is definitely a great deal. So let me tell you about DLCs and what you get along with the standard version of the game. First combat pack will unlock Jason Voorhees, Predator, Tanya, and Tremor. Each fighter comes with a themed skin pack including three new skins for selected characters. Combat pack 2 also includes four playable characters, Leatherface, Boraicho, Tribog, and Xenomorph. So if you played only the main version of the game or skipped the title completely, there is no better time to finally obtain it and beat your friends. And as always, after you beat your friends, beat them in this game as well. 
Middle-earth Shadow of Mordor, Game of the Year Edition. In the first part of Middle-earth, you will fight through Mordor and uncover the secret of the spirit that compels you. You will discover the origins of the Rings of Power, build your legend and ultimately confront the evil of Sauron. The best thing about playing Shadow of Mordor is that it makes you feel overpowered without sacrificing the fear of defeat. You will enjoy great fast-paced combat and a nice good-looking open world full of Lord of the Rings lore. If you are a fan of Tolkien's books or Lord of the Rings movies, then this game will for sure do a little bit extra to make you happy. The plot of the game is okay, -ish. you will find nothing very fancy or mind-blowing here. Despite that, the flow, the pace of the game will not let you get bored, that's for sure. And this version of the game includes new missions. You will have to face Sauron's elite defenders before the Black Gate, dive deeper into Mordor's living world and hunt the wild beasts, and battle against Sauron as Celebrimbor, the great elven lord of the Second Age to unlock powerful runes and the ability to wield the One Ring. That is awesome. Awesome, and the game is awesome as well. Batman Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition this is the first one of the Arkham games. You may think that it is quite an old game, and you are right, around 15 years is not a joke. But surprisingly, the graphics are still great. I can't even imagine how this game felt back then, because when I look at it, it's like it never aged at all. Some Elijah Wood of games. Anyway, it still has overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam and is one of the best rated games on the store overall. You will use the free flow combat system to chain together unlimited combos seamlessly, and battle with huge groups of the Jokers henchmen in brutal melee brawls. You will have to solve interesting puzzles with the help of a cutting-edge forensic tools, including X-ray scanning, fingerprint scan, spray and pheromone tracker. And sooner or later you will meet famous villains, such as the Joker, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy and Jada Pinkett Smith. Well, maybe not the latter, but anyway, this game is a masterpiece even if you don't like Batman. Middle Earth Shadow of War as people say, this game is a mix of Batman, Assassin's Creed, The Witcher and Tetris. Why Tetris, you ask? As I always say, in this game, just like in Tetris, enemies will come at you in all shapes and sizes at different speeds and you will have to make them disappear if you want to survive. See, Middle Earth is just like Tetris, deal with it. Here the visuals and the world captures the essence of Middle Earth absolutely perfectly. You know, in the same way like potato salad captures your taste buds, just like that. If you are a fan of Tolkien's world, this this game will make you an addict. This is a real orc killing simulator after all. The story is also nice to say the least, and combat is very satisfying. You will feel as a bit overpowered combat guard, but that won't affect the gameplay itself. You will always get some really hard adversaries to test the strength of your mental balls. Don't be shy, have them big and hairy so your enemies would die from fear alone. Batman Arkham Knight Premium Edition here, obviously, you will become Batman. The game comes with the introduction of the Batmobile and enhancements to signature features, such as free-flow combat, stealth, forensics and navigation. The main feature, the Batmobile, is brought to life with an original design featuring a distinct visual appearance and a full range of high-tech gadgetry. It is designed to be fully drivable throughout the game world and capable of transformation from high-speed pursuit mode to military-grade battle mode. The vehicle sits at the heart of the game's design and allows you to race the streets at high speeds and catch most dangerous villains. Batmobile also augments your abilities in every aspect, from navigation and forensics to combat and puzzle solving. People on Steam are saying that Arkham Knight looks better than most games today and is immensely fun. The reviews are around 90%. The game is great. Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition If you want to pull the backbone through the mouth of your adversary, you are looking at the right game. It will let you do this and many other gore-related things you love so much since you first tried this wonderful franchise many years ago. For example, I was like 8 years old when near my grandparents' house in Palanga someone started an arcade machine business and one of those machines had Mortal Kombat 2 in it. I think I spent all my money on this arcade machine and got pretty good at the game. Could beat every other kid in the block without a sweat. Nobody wanted to play with me. And in that time, no grown-up played games. You know, in 1994 or 95, everyone was thinking that all video games were made for kids. That was beyond stupid. Anyway, with this edition you will get 12 additional characters, from Robocop to Sindel, from Terminator to Rambo. Everyone is here and you can pull the backbone out of every single one of them. That is beautiful and fun at the same time. Batman Arkham City Game of the Year Edition 
Overwhelmingly positive reviews is not something we can easily ignore, and the game will send you flying through the expansive Arkham City, five times larger than the game world in Batman Arkham Asylum. The game is home for all of Gotham City's thugs, gangsters, and insane criminal masterminds, including Catwoman, the Joker, the Riddler, Two-Face, Harley Quinn, your ex-girlfriend, the Penguin, Mr. Freeze, and many others. The game allows you to generally experience what it feels to be the Dark Knight, delivering justice on the streets of Gotham City. Well, in our world, Batman would be sitting behind the bars, because in most countries, even defending from criminals and using excessive force is forbidden. When the world became such a soft place, I didn't even notice. Mad Max this is without a doubt one of the best open world games on Steam. More than 90% of positive reviews are here for a reason. You will play as a lone warrior in a savage post-apocalyptic world where cars are the most important thing, the very key to survival. So as I always say and tell this story, here in Mad Max we'll have the same mindset as my neighbor Ginteras, who fixes his car every day, polishes the paint and spends more time with it than with his own wife. But the balance in nature is always around the corner. My other neighbor Darius has no car, so he spends time with Ginteras' wife. Everyone is happy. Anyway, in Mad Max you will find an action-packed open world where you must fight against vicious gangs of bandits to stay alive in the wasteland. You want nothing more than to leave the madness behind and find solace in the mythical Plains of Silence. Along the way in your search, you are challenged with treacherous missions as you scavenge the dangerous landscape for supplies to build the ultimate combat vehicle of your dreams. You will find the link to this great bundle in the description below and also in the first pinned comment. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!